Did you know that Ghana is ranked second in the world for cocoa bean production? An even more interesting stat is Ghana never produced its own gourmet chocolate bar until Steve Wallace from Wisconsin, USA, created a chocolate factory there in the mid 90s. In fact, Wallace, founder of the Omanhini Cocoa Bean Company, is credited with producing the world's first single origin chocolate bar in 1994. And Omanhini was the first company to sustain exports of premium chocolate manufactured entirely in Africa. You see, what tends to happen is chocolate manufacturers source the beans from places such as Ivory Coast, Ghana and Indonesia, but then ship them halfway around the world in containers where the quality of the bean degrades over the six weeks of travel time. Wallace spotted an opportunity to gain a competitive advantage by manufacturing a quality chocolate at source when the cocoa bean was at its finest without needing any artificial ingredients or flavourings. Why Ghana? Wallace first travelled to Ghana as a 16-year-old exchange student in 1978, where he'd learnt much about the Ghanaian people and their customs, falling in love with the place. Since this, he'd held a long-term desire to return. Obroni and the Chocolate Factory is the story of how Wallace made his dream come true by working and persevering with the Ghanaian government to create a chocolate factory which produced pure Ghanaian chocolate at source and exported around the globe. Omanhini is real and is still operating today. I love the story and so will you. Abroni and the Chocolate Factory gets a thumbs up and five stars. Any questions, please connect and message me. Remember, you can watch all our business book reviews at mytotaloffysolutions.co.uk slash business dash book dash reviews. Thank you once again for watching and we'll see you next week.